here is a self starter uh, field coil you can see field here are the field coils and here are the brushes these are supplying power to the um, whatever inside unit which is armature here you can see on these uh, on this uh, commutator these brushes are touching and they are providing power to this uh, armature and here is the unit which is known as the field coil field winding or field coil something like that and these brushes you can see they are um, embedded to these studs and they are just welded by some way copper had been welded to copper by some process uh, which we cannot do uh, by our facilities for sure we will solder it using a regular soldering wire which is in my hand just uh, you can see is you will using the regular soldering method uh, my regular uh, soldering iron and uh, these brushes we are going to replace the reason for the replacement is of course they, are, they went very very much small you can say they are eaten up and uh, this machine will not run with these small brushes and we are going to replace these brushes with this one mm, this you can see they are of double length now so they will withstand for some certain time and this is what is the limit with us for uh, such brushes this is the carbon brush company you can see NCC made in Japan Pakistan or whatever I don't know from where they are uh, but they are very very much cheap brushes something for three dollar and the original one while I went to Toyota uh, they were dealership they were selling those brushes uh, for something like uh, 30 dollar for all all four they were selling for thirty dollars and these aftermarket which I purchased for three dollar so something ten times difference is there and they will do of course they will do and now I'm going to make some way to put the, them in so by this way actually while they came they were not of the correct size they are aftermarket they just made for some machine I don't know and uh, in such a situation this uh, um, file was handy I just uh, rub these brushes against the file and file them to a certain size which is of course of uh, these brushes size and here is the holder uh, in which this brush should fit and should slide some way like this they will do uh, so these are the brushes and now is the assembly we are going to uh, make soldering and cutting for these brushes the older brushes of course we will cut them and uh, some certain wire we will cut along with and then these brushes also we will cut some wire and uh, of course we will try to make the connection flexible we will not uh, solder to some very close ending but we will solder it over here and we will try it to um, keep this whole thing uh, very very much uh, flexible so I'm just going to cut this uh, older brush assembly you can see using a cutter just cut it off from the end some wire you have to keep so that uh, the rest the other new brush while I will solder so this will be soldered to these uh, remaining uh, whatever uh, lids wires and uh, up to this extent if I will cut so I will be good enough so here I am just going to cut it cut it off like this with the one we will make experiment and the other we will apply the same procedure with so just uh, the way is you have to make it in some good order and the brushes the, the connections must not touch something here and there the all the lids should be soldered and they should not touch to the bare metal somewhere uh, because if they will touch to the bare metal of course they will create a short circuit which is not desirable and which is not we, something we want uh, so this you can see just I embedded wires into each other and now I'm going to bring my soldering iron and just try to solder this it will take a little while because they are fat wires actually so this they will need much much heat to solder so some way we will keep the soldering iron along with for some certain time to make our soldering perfect and maybe we will need some sort of uh, flux also to make our joint perfect as much as we can this is what we tried but I think this is not something a preferred method a preferred method is we have to solder it on the side okay we will see 
if that is that will work we will do by that way and if this is good then we will adapt this procedure So you can see just uh, we provided some connection which is of course not a good connection and we will remove it better we have to remove it and resolder it again we have to provide enough heat just uh, inside we have to keep it like this solder it a little bit more we'll try to solder it perfectly in the same way as it is and the other one we will do some other procedure because this if we will remove it's not coming off now it had been soldered inside the embedded wires so it's good not bad that it will make a perfect connection mechanically perfect and electrically perfect as well So some way like this now it's perfect not bad and this one we will create we will make some other way to do the connection and for, from the very far end from the very ending we have to cut it off no lids were remaining something like this as they should not go here and there like this and then what we will have to do is we have to measure a current brush according to the length of this uh, position and then keep it like this just make it in some good way and cut the wires so something this much will be enough so this solder portion we have to cut it off from the brush which we just brought it and then have to keep it in position and then solder it so it will go to up to its full length in its holder so somewhere like this we have to solder it hope this will be catch by camera We'll make the foundation first so that it will catch the solder and heat also and then later on well we will solder the brush so the brush will be soldered easily some way like this we will have to make the foundation first this will be better for good soldering and here also we have to do the same thing with this brush the lids wires you can see just like this and then later on we will have to solder it on its position it's very very much hot I cannot grab it so I will make some way some pliers is required so here this plier will be handy to grab this thing and just use it for the work like this and then hold the hold the brush on its base to solder it it slits wire something like this just like this and some more solder sorting wire we have to 
melt it on so that a perfect connection we will get basically a soldering soldering uh, video you can say but it will give you enough confidence to do work like this this is not very difficult if one can think but it's important because by this way you will be able to bring a machine to life once again so keep it in position some way like this so that don't wiggle it so that a perfect connection we will achieve and while we will achieve a perfect connection that is what is our requirement as you can see now it had been perfect connection is made and here we will put this spring uh, this uh, brush and later on these are the springs actually the four springs will be there uh, we will put them while we will fix the armature inside so these springs will be fixed in the end that I will show you later on while I will fix all the brushes then later on I will show you how to put the springs in because these springs will go by force inside and we will make enough force to make them position so this is the good way as you can see good soldering example this is a bad soldering example don't do this procedure instead apply this procedure this is something good uh, which I did here is uh, you can see all uh, carbon brushes had been fixed in their places all had been soldered now is the time uh, to fix these springs in so you can see just we will put the springs in some way like this it needs a little bit force it's difficult to do it one hand but I will do it using two hands and under the camera it's a little bit difficult to show you how they are going because the margin is very very much less and using my tools some way of pliers or screwdriver I have to force these springs in something like this you can see just a spring is hardly in and same way I have to put another spring inside like this it's very difficult to do it because now these are bigger brushes are there inside and I uh, intentionally did not cut them down too much so that the life will be more for these brushes and same way all the springs I have to fix them in some way like this the final one also so like this all springs are in now you can see they need needed a little bit force to bring them in uh, but eventually they went in so by this way this machine just I fixed uh, brushes and whatever these springs are hope uh, you learned something if some say same machine is coming to you these are the older machines actually they need soldering and the newer machines are way easy there is a brush assembly you have to fix it in and screw it in and then it will be fixed so they are very very much easy to do with them but uh, with such a machine where the brushes as you can see they had been mounted in such a way that the soldering was required in such a situation uh, don't be panic instead make it by your way and uh, the machine will come to life uh, so by this way we did it and hopefully it will run thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned uh, subscribe and like the channel please